Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Phillips with InFocus Studios and thank you for tuning into this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business to help share some tips and advice within their industry and today I have Greg and Greg, welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me here. Sure, why don't you explain to everyone a little bit about yourself and what you do. Well, my name is Greg Lewis and I live here in Chatham County and I own the Pittsburgh Roadhouse along with my wife and uh, we have three daughters, all going to local Chatham County schools. Fantastic. Now I've visited uh, uh, your restaurant frequently um, I've always wondered about the history. Can you uh, explain? Sure. Well, uh, geez, the building originally opened in 1947 as Justice Motors Corporation. Uh, there they sold Chevrolet, Cadillac, and Oldsmobiles. And in, the, in about 1999-98, it became the, uh, uh, the general store cafe. And it went through various phases as a restaurant. And um, in the back room, there was a... Uh, the back area where the mechanic shop was was a uh, where they worked they repaired uh, emergency vehicles ambulance and fire trucks and such and uh, the last owners the general store cafe took over that area and built the large banquet music hall in the hmm. back there cool yeah. interesting all right well um why did you take over the restaurant <laughs> well my wife and i uh, used to enjoy going to the general store we have uh, three small children and the there were only so many places we could go within a short distance to uh, not be too far away from home. And so we just go to the general store cafe and on a Friday, Saturday night and enjoy the food, the live music, and uh, being in the area close enough to our children. And when the general store closed, we just felt like there was a, something missing from downtown Pittsburgh. We thought that uh, Pittsburgh needed that building and, and that business there, and we thought that that business needed the town and so we didn't want to let it see it go so we came in and reopened the restaurant okay so you're supporting downtown and uh trying to bring bring more visitors absolutely. yeah absolutely we feel like we we attract folks from uh, obviously local folks but we also get a lot from chapel hill carborough Cary, raleigh and bring a lot of people into pittsburgh to see all the quaint little shops in town great yeah. so what else do you do to kind of help the local local economy and businesses well on our menu, we feature a lot of local foods. We work with local farmers. We get um, all of our hamburgers local. We have bison, which is a local Chatham County bison out of Bear Creek. Then we have um, lo lots of local produce, local wines, local beers. And we also have a gift shop uh, within the restaurant where we're featuring local arts and crafts. We have uh, pottery, uh, local teas grown uh, right in Alamance County, and local artwork, paintings, all kinds of things in the gift shop. Okay. Now, I know you, you spent some uh, time, uh, I guess, making the, the music room a little bit more acoustically uh, a, a sounding better. Yes. Um, you have local musicians, or where, where, you, where are the musicians coming from? Yeah, well, uh, most of our musicians are here, Chatham County, Orange County, Wake County musicians. Um, they're all bands. Just you, Most of them are just out having fun, having a good old time, and they want to come in and entertain you. Um, the sound in the back, when we came in, we added acoustic panels and an acoustic curtain to the back of the stage to help the music from bouncing around. Okay, yeah. good, yeah. I know the last time I was in there, I noticed there was a dramatic difference um, from when it w was just the general store, so it's definitely appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we noticed it when we were uh, dining in there many times, and so it was something we wanted to take care of. Fantastic, yeah. well, great. Well, thank you for coming in today. I appreciate the information. If any of you out there would like to uh, uh, learn more about the menu at the Roadhouse. Uh, check out the website at the end of this video and uh, feel free to leave any comments below this video. We'd love to hear from you and continue this conversation. Thanks a lot and we'll see you next time.